basically an armadillo went underneath the darn pool and now we have to find where the hole is. We're getting closer and I need to get all of that over there. So, so it's nighttime and I'm kind of making like an executive decision to be like, hey, step kids are here this weekend and if we don't get this done, we're not going to swim. Like we're just straight up not going to swim until next year. For the record, we actually did order the same exact pool, but that's just going to be a lot of work. We need to do some concrete work. We need to do, you know, like do it right. So mine's just like a simple fix right now. Isn't that cute? Oh, so pretty. There's a different feel to this and look to this, by the way. Hard. You hear that? So this is the Flex Seal can kind is what I call it. So we're going to open it up and I really don't know how to open it. But apparently once it's open, yard, we're stuck with it. This is a hundred and something dollars. I didn't shake it. I had to shake it. How to move this around. So look how clear it is. I'll show you guys. So it is super clear and we are game on. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. We'll see. See, maybe this stuff will like just like thicken in there, you know, like just like the water comes up. Maybe this will just like, hey, we're going to seal up like a champ right now. Anything that has hard plastic, I'm just going to cover up and then I'm going to use the tape over it. Let's clean it out. Watch. All right. Peace out, y'all. Fills up with water. Golden beetle. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Look at him, glad. You want to start a bug collection with me? I I've already um collect some crickets. Oh yeah. Maybe we can make a channel. Yeah, be careful because this stuff is like super freaking slick. I slipped out, but it wasn't on camera. The water. Just saying out. So water's been leaking out. And now you can kind of lift it up. And that's like what's underneath there. See this mess? That's got to be an armadillo. Like, we even saw it on camera, you know? We even saw it on that camera right there. Doesn't stick. Just kind of pushes that water around underneath it. So you need to make sure that your surface is dry. Like, it literally is just not. It is, but it isn't. So you're just, all you're doing is you're trapping that water underneath, which is going to give you more of a bubble effect. And those are squares, so you want to make sure that you're going and filling up that square left and right. I am done, but everything is extremely sticky. I'm going to hand that to you because it's getting sticky on my helmet. Jeez. So you can hear kind of where I did everything. Honestly, like, I tried to get everything that I thought was, like, a hole or compromise, which is pretty much the entire pool. If you guys have the time to do it yourself, as far as like, hey, we have a dozer. Hey, we have like 10 people to help out with concrete. Do it. Because this was pretty much me just pouring the entire can and ruining a pair of kings for like, these kings are probably like a hundred bucks. So yeah. Anyway, so we'll see how it holds up. And I am gonna probably duct tape. See how thick this is, this right here? That's our big hole. There's several big deep ones. I'm gonna put that tape over it, the, the uh, flex seal tape over it and see how it does. I'm tired, my back hurts. You guys have like a bunch of people, just hire them. What's that noise? <laughs> we don't have any dogs anywhere. <laughs> yeah, my back hurts, my shoulder hurts. All right, so now my fingers are, well, the diamond on my ring will probably like pop out in the middle of the night. It's just, I did do this on some of this stuff because there's like rust. Might as well use it all up. The bug. Okay. All right, peace out. It gets stickier and stickier. And literally my hands were like, oh my gosh, they were sticking together. My shoes were sticking to the floor. So this doesn't necessarily work. You get the hot water ready and you need a degreaser. We used a bicycle degreaser, which is finish line speed degreaser. And then we also use this kind of like in combination and that's what took care of it. But seriously, I would take your rings off. I didn't take mine off. I would do that because I'm sure there's been some damage to them. 
maybe I need to go get them cleaned at the mall, um, kind of go from there. So tomorrow we're going to let it dry and then we're going to put the actual patches over it and then we're going to fill it with water and let you guys know how it goes. It's morning time. It's dried out. It looks, yeah, it's almost it's like a thick, yeah, it's like, I don't know, just a, I'll uh, type what I think later on the thing. All right, so we're gonna open this up and we're going to put tape over. There's some particular ones that I still wanna cover because they're low. See right here, that one is low. So I'm gonna put tape here and on a couple- I think it's gonna work. It's like right Elmer's here. glue. Hopefully I can start filling this up. This is just the flex tape, the eight inches wide. Come on, baby, I gotta go to work. Oh, it's already sticky. That one lady said that, eh. Okay, whatever. It's just like the same stuff, it's just like that. So honestly, like this stuff feels like that stuff. Okay, just give me a little bit bigger of a surface area. Okay, actual. Like that. Or I can basically make more surface area. Like in little sheets, you can kind of see like where there's a tearing point on it. Oop, that's not good. All right, so we're gonna fill it up and see what it does. I'll be back from work um, later on and we'll take a look. We're gonna fill her up and see what she does. Ah! Pool conclusion. Okay, so three days. I think it is going down slower, but that doesn't mean we don't still have a leak. So we do still have a leak. I think it's just going down slower. That is the level that I left it at three days ago. So it's going down like an inch, probably every three days. Um, so we did realize that the pool is actually about four years old. So that definitely clarifies some stuff. Plastic gets a little bit harder, chemicals, stuff like that. So I'll show you my leaks. Yeah, time out, time out. Wait, wait, there it is. Just yeah, look, like look at that, that. 2018. So we've gotten the good deal out of the pool. So they say a pool only lasts about, they say six years, five years and four years, but so that's official. So if it doesn't hold up, I'm not mad. That's still one right there. And this is way too much water, even though it did like kind of rain a little bit. And then that to me is like a new one possibly that I didn't know about. So it is getting colder, like not like the water is gonna be cold, but it's like not, it's it's still good. But once you get in there, you do need like a long tight sleeve on. That way you can kind of still stay warm. But I'm gonna get in there because I worked hard trying to fix it. And at least it kind of holds water for the weekend for the kids to swim. Cause it is Labor Day weekend, yay! All right, peace out, like and subscribe. So y'all see that? So I just started swimming in the pool with little Uni. Hi Justin. Uni's my unicorn. And would you look at that? That's not good. But keep in mind that there is that paint stuff underneath it. So even if it's, I don't know, maybe it's not sticking because of that. I'm just giving you all like the little questions and answers and stuff like that, or answers or I don't know, whatever. Just giving you like a real review. You guys watch, but you got to subscribe.